Hey guys, we are here today in the beautiful city of London and with me is Paro from AXA. Hello! Thank you very much for being here. You are leading the labs at uh, AXA and do you want to share what kind of trends you see emerging right now? AXA Labs, our current area of strategic focus is health. And the trends we are seeing from European markets and from North America is an escalation in cost of healthcare. Yeah. Uh, there is longevity, with, but longevity today is being combined with chronic diseases. That's why that's putting a lot of pressure on public health resources of every country that we are in. Uh, so that's driving a lot of emphasis on uh, telemedicine, on uh, disease management through mHealth tools, on operational efficiencies and care coordination. All of these are the areas where we are seeing a whole lot of interest, not just from health insurers, but also life insurers. We're trying to build an ecosystem around provisioning of human health. And do you have concrete uh, examples of what you are already doing there or what you see in the market? Yes, so in terms of some of the areas that we are uh, having a great deal of traction on is telehealth. We have uh, Doctor Care Anywhere. Which What's that? It is a telehealth uh, video consultation okay. provider uh, and it is uh, provided to our private medical insurance customer in the UK. We have a similar offering for our AXA France customers. But how does that work? So as I understand it correctly, um, I don't go to the doctor anymore, but I actually call a doctor. That's exactly right. You make a consultation and you call through your laptop. Uh, we will uh, provide you the right kind of software, which you download from uh, uh, the iOS and Android applications, and then you connect, fix an appointment and connect directly to the medical practitioner in your area who would be uh, available for you in the video consultation. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the idea, but I can imagine a few arguments against it. For example, um, well, the doctor cannot touch me, the doctor cannot do examinations, so why should I as a customer or as a carrier or um, a healthcare player uh, invest in that? So we, what we are trying to, to de deliver is not lack of human intervention, but we are trying to provide you access to human intervention at your own convenience. Uh, a lot of uh, general practitioners, especially in UK, when you go to their uh, consulting room, you find it filled with people who really do not have any immediate need for physical intervention and could be talked through some of the, uh, the conditions and referred correctly or given right kind of clinical treatments through video consultation rather than sitting for hours in the GP practice uh, and not I know that feeling. <laughs> Exactly. So it is the convenience, it is the access to the con uh, to, to, to the consultation, and uh, it's speed speed, also, you know, speed, yeah. efficiency, I mean, and lower costs. I mean, I just recently uh, called a doctor, and I was like, "Come by in three months." I'm like, you know, I may be dead then, so it maybe makes sense to have a, a telematics uh, doctor there. All right, thank you very much for that. My second topic is, um, since you have such a broad insight into AXA, but also the market, and you have like um, a lot of sophisticated innovation processes and procedures uh, and initiative, uh, initiatives at AXA, what could you recommend um, in innovation managers at insurances, um, how to get started and maybe some best practices um, that, doesn't, that don't cost billions? So one of the key things that uh, research and development effort or innovation efforts as we call it in, within the insurance industry require is a senior buy-in. There has to be strategic buy-in that research and development is to prepare the organization for the future of the organization. Once we have that senior buy-in in companies such as insurance companies which have a lot of hierarchies, it helps... Really? Insurance companies and hierarchies? Yes, surprisingly so. Uh, so 
we, we, we find that it eases the part of people who are trying to do disruptive things and are not seen as, uh, well, they will be seen as threat, but there is someone who has their back. So senior buy-in is super important. Clear governance and budgets is are very, very important. And identification, what you're doing is strategically important for the business, is supremely critical to get innovation buy-in from, from corporates, any corporate, big or small. And I heard actually from a good source at AXA that the CEO is also the Chief Innovation Officer. Is that right? That is exactly right. Uh, Guillaume Bori is our Group Chief Innovation Officer. He drives the innovation agenda along with our CEO Tomas. And uh, he is also the CEO of AXA Next, which is uh, a business which builds complementary business models to innovation and has significant amount of senior buy-in and budgets assigned to it and has clear strategic priorities that it works with. Paro, thank you very much, it was a pleasure. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thanks. So, if you made it to here, it means you really like the video. It would mean the world to me if you could hit the subscribe button down here or sign up for our newsletter so we can give you all of hottest newest trends we scout around the world for free even sooner.